Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now today we are going to take a look at the latest device available from Minix which is the Z83-4 Windows 10 mini computer and the Dash 4 stands for 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM which the Z83-4 has. Now when we look at the specs of this machine uh, at the first glance we don't see nothing major uh, that differentiates from other machines that we have seen here on the channel but when we take a closer look and after testing it and reviewing it uh, you will see and I will try to show as best as I can that there are a few features uh, that will make this device stand out from other devices that we have seen. Now being my favorite personal one the ability to connect two displays to this mini computer and use it as a multitasking machine and before we go to the uh, video review I would like to mention something that I forgot to include on my main review regarding the build quality uh, everything that I stated on the review is correct but I forgot to mention that uh, this particular device the Z83-4 as besides uh, Minix having stepping up on the quality they uh, act actually have a metal uh, bottom enclosure right over here plastic on the top and metal in the bottom so really nice feature here which I did forgot to mention on my uh, main review guys that being said and having a long intro enough of chit chat let's go straight for the video hope that you guys as always enjoyed this particular video and I'll see you in a few seconds And here we are with the Minix Z83-4 Windows 10 mini computer that features the well-known Intel quad-core Z8300 CPU, 4GB of DDR3 RAM and 32GB of EMC 5.0 flash storage. And regarding our usual unboxing experience, we will find some documentation on the top, the Minix Z83-4, one HDMI cable, a power adapter and the external antenna with an SMA connection. Now looking closer at on the front we will find a dim blue light when the computer is on and on the right hand side a power button a micro SD card slot three USB 2.0 ports and one USB 3.0 port on the left hand side the external antenna and a Kensington lock at the back a headphone jack mini display port HDMI 1.4 gigabit Ethernet connection and a power input jack at the bottom those four rubber feet and finally at the top the usual Minix logo now Minix has released some of the best mini computers that I've used and the Z83-4 it's not an exception. In terms of size it's bigger than the Z64 and exactly the same size as the aluminium enclosure of the NGC1. And in terms of build quality it is a fact that Minix uses one of the best plastics for these uh, type of machines but they stepped up again with the Z83 as the plastic is stronger than the Z64 that we have seen in the past. Now it's not as robust as the NGC1 as you may imagine but I was once again impressed with the build quality of this new mini computer. Now when we turn the device on it comes already with an account created which honestly I'm not a fan but the solution was really simple. I just selected the reset option and we will have the machine ready to be used with an account created by the user which in this particular case was me. Now the downside of this is that I lost a wireless adapter driver but I'm sure that Minix will take care of that really soon and I will keep you posted here on this video. And when I was about to finish my review, I did receive a support ticket from Minix stating that the machine that I'm uh, using is a testing sample and this is the reason and the only reason of the user account created. Uh, so you guys, when purchasing this machine, won't have any issues. But nonetheless, Minix also arranged a way to fix this driver issue by giving me a link to download and fix it. And also they stated that the drivers have been submitted to Microsoft, so very soon anyone will be able to reset their machines if they want to of course and won't need to do anything because Microsoft will download automatically from their servers and finally just to mention that the Wi-Fi connection is now working perfectly as you guys can see on screen. 
and it comes with a full license of Windows 10 and activated, and it comes with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of flash storage, as we have seen previously, which, as far as I could search in the past, it is the limit imposed by Microsoft to be eligible for a Windows 10 discount and licenses. But I'll post a link down below for those interested in reading more. Now, from those 32 gigs, we will have roughly 13 gigs available, which is not much, but we can always add a micro. SD or a USB drive and expand that storage. And also, as usual, I did run a few benchmarks and on disk speed test we got 70 megabytes per second on writes and 140 megabytes per second on reads. On the Ethernet connection, 200 megabits on download speed and 20 on upload speed, which is the maximum of my connection at this moment. Geekbench 4 with 905 on single core score and 2328 on multi core score. 3D Mark score, iStorm X with a score of roughly 6000 and finally running the usual stress test on the CPU and RAM for 2 hours the Z83-4 showed no signals of thermal throttling which is great especially for those of you that will be using this machine for a Plex server or similar. Now we all know that the Z83-4 is capable of driving a 4K display uh, which I had a great experience with my LG 27UD60 8W, but for me personally, the best feature is to be able to drive two displays and use it as a multitasking machine. Actually, this is only the second mini computer that I've used with this capability. First was the Minix NGC1 and now the Z83-4. And regarding performance, uh, there are no surprises. The machine can handle office work as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. and also handles light Photoshop editing, which I was expecting. And for those that are looking for a Windows mini computer uh, to use it as a media player with Kodi, you may expect it to play any 8-bit videos up to 4K uh, without any issues at all using H.264 and H.265 codecs. I also used my Blu-ray 1080 collection and the results were great. And for those Plex servers, you may also expect the same results. I had no issues at all playing the samples and my own movies. And for a low budget machine, those 4GB of RAM will come in handy for a busy Plex server. And in terms of gaming, there are no miracles, as it has the integrated Intel HD GPU. So we will be able to play any mobile game from the Windows Store and all the desktop games like Worms Crazy Golf, as we can see uh, on screen. On the other hand, for those that already have a decent computer on the bedroom or on the office and want to use GameStream to be able to play those games on the living room TV, then the Z83-4 uh, did a great job and I did play around with a few games including Gas Guzzlers and as you guys can see on screen the experience was just flawless. So in conclusion guys, things that I did like the most were the great build quality of the Minix Z83-4, the dual display output on a mini computer which I love, I just love this feature, the nice overall performance, capable of game streaming at 1080 60 frames per second and finally the great and fast support as usual from Minix. On the other hand, things that I did like the least, I was about to mention uh, the issue with the pre-configured user accounts and the Wi-Fi uh, connectivity issue but that was all solved as you guys could see on the video so I've got no reason to complain. And that is it, we have reached the end of another review, this time the Minix Z83-4 Windows 10 mini computer. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.